Hi, welcome back to the seventh section of this video course. So in this section, we will now be discussing how to best take advantage of the CRM functions within salesforce.com. For the first video of this section, we'll be discussing how to create custom sales processes within salesforce.com. So for larger organizations or companies offering a wide spectrum of different products or services, managing the different sales process or sales cycles within their company is of utmost importance. With custom sales processes, we can create these different processes and assign them to the different type of opportunities within our environment. So a sales process in Salesforce terms is basically the ordered list of stages an opportunity would go through. By default, it would be from prospecting to close to one. But for our example, we'll be creating a custom sales process for our company Mojo Electronics. This sales process, however, will only be a custom sales process for the digital media products offered by the company. To do this, we would need to marry custom sales processes with another construct we have discussed earlier which is the record types. Using record types, we can distinguish opportunities and assign the proper sales process for each opportunity type. Knowing how different these kinds of products in terms of the required volume and the type of distribution, setting up the appropriate sales process for these products is very important. So first off, we'll be creating our sales process details, then assign the appropriate stages to the sales process, and then create a record type and assign our sales process to that record type. So to start off, let's just go to the Salesforce setup menu. Build, customize, and then opportunities for going sales processes. So next, let's click on new to create our new sales process. So first, let's enter the existing sales process that we want to use as a template. So since we don't have any sales process at the moment, we're going to use the master template as our template for this new custom sales process. Next, let's enter the sales process name, which we will put as digital media products and click on save to finalize our new sales process. So after creating and specifying the default details for our sales process, we can start customizing the stages for our sales process to be more appropriate for our business or for our department. So to start off, let's remove all the pre-selected stages from our sales process by selecting all and clicking remove. So as you may have seen, since we use the master template as our template, it has selected all of the pre-available opportunity stages at the get-go. So for our custom sales process, which is specifically tailored for digital media, we want to pick only the relevant ones to it. So first, let's select prospecting, qualification, Next, we're going to add proposal price code and skip all the other, all of the other stages before that. Next, we're going to click on close to one and close to loss. So this is a much more simpler version of the sales process since digital media is quite a much more straightforward sales process than the other parts of our business. So let's just click on save to finalize it. So that's it. We just have created our custom sales process specifically tailored for digital media products. So after creating our sales process, it's not enough. We need to create a record type and assign that sales process to this record type. So just as a preview, when we assign a sales process to the record type, so every time a new opportunity is created, its record type is equal to digital media. We would want to enable the sales process digital media for that particular opportunity. So just as a recap, we have discussed the creation of record types in video two of section three. So to start, let's just go to opportunities again. Click on record types. So on the opportunities record type list, we haven't created any custom record types. So let's click on new. So first, let's specify the existing record type that we want to use as a template. Since we don't have any custom templates at the moment, let's just select master. Next, let's create the record type label and the record type name. So let's select digital media, or let's say digital media product. Let's retain the record type name generated. And for the sales process, we want to select our custom sales process that we created earlier. So let's select digital media. Next, let's enter a description for this record type. So let's just enter, let's say, opportunity for digital media products like digital download and streaming services. Click on active. 
to activate this record type immediately and make it available for all of the other users in the system. So we have two options here. We have enable per profile and make default. So let's just retain it at that. Since we want to make this record type available to all users of all profiles immediately. So let's click on that and click on next. For the page layout, let's just select, just retain that layout at the moment. Since digital media is a special type of media product that it's not really a default product for the company. So we just want to retain the normal opportunity layout that is currently set up. So let's click on save to finalize our changes. So that's it. We have just created a sales process and have binded it to a record type, which makes it available immediately for all users in the system. So in this video, we have learned about custom sales processes, which allow us to customize the sales cycle for each product or service organization offers. So in this video, we have learned the following. First, entering the sales process details. Next is associating the different stages of your sales process. And number three is creating an opportunity record type and associating custom sales processes to that record type. So in the next video, we'll be discussing how to manage opportunities and creating codes within Salesforce.com.